the whole development community loves visual studio code if you ask anyone which code editor you should use you will 100% get visual studio code as a recommendation but if you are a beginner college student setting up the visual studio environment can be a bit confusing task especially if you are just about to achieve it with java programming language well don't worry to help you with this peculiar task we have created a simple hands on tutorial that will helps you throughout the installation process so keep watching this video on how to use java in visual studio code till the end also before we begin ensure subscribing to intellipad youtube channel to never miss any update coming from our team so today we are going to use java with visual studio code let us begin by installing visual studio code first or we could install a package of visual studio code and jdk so first i'll show you how to install visual studio code go on your browser and type in install visual studio code open the first link that appears so depending on the device that you're using it's either windows linux or mac you could choose whichever version you want to download here i'm using windows so i'm going to go ahead and click on download as you can see the download has begun so we're going to just wait until it fully gets downloaded so now that our file is downloaded we're going to just click on it and it is going to show you multiple agreements and your choices additional icons and everything so if you click on install it is going to get installed so this is how you set up visual studio code and after setting up visual studio code you can download a jdk here i'm going to discuss another way which is downloading both visual studio code and jdk together let us see how to do that so i'm going to go ahead and cancel this all right open another tab and type java with vs code all right so open the first link so as you can see uh, there is a coding pack for java which is a bundle of vs code and the java development kit and then there is another bundle that is for those who have installed vs code and want to add java support to it so i'm just going to go ahead and download the simple coding pack for java which includes both vs code and jdk with for windows because that is what i use so i'm going to go ahead and click download all right as you can see it's getting downloaded all right so now that our coding pack is installed i'm just going to go ahead and click on it okay click on accept the terms then we'll click next now we can see that there is java development kit and visual studio code as well so i'm going to click install now that it's done we're going to just launch vs code click on finish so that it will launch vs code okay so we are on vs code uh you can see an option here that says get started with java development so i'm just going to go ahead and so i'm going to open a new file here so for that let us click on view and go to command palette and search java so you can see that there are multiple options to choose from there is java formatter settings run tests all these different kinds of options but we're going to use simply create java project because that's what we're going to do right now and you can choose any kind of tools to work along with it i'm going to use no build tools because it's a simple code so i'm going to create a new folder here uh probably in my bot new folder all right let's call it java with vs code all right so now that we've chosen the project location we can name our java project so let's call that project sample java project and it's open so what we can do here is we have a file called app.java which has a built in code which simply says hello world so we're going to go ahead and run it and see if it works okay click on allow access all right so in the terminal you can see that it has printed hello world which means our java project is working all right to give you a better understanding i'm going to create a new file here let us call it sum of numbers dot java and we're going to write a code 
All right. Let's type in our code. This is a code to find out the sum of two numbers. So let's go ahead and type in public static void mean string args. All right. So we're going to go ahead and declare our variables int n1 equals 100 n2 equals 150 and we're going to declare sum as well so let's do that after this is done we are going to create a formula for sum that is n1 plus n2 all right and now we're going to print the sum which is done using system dot out dot print ln so we're going to give a statement the sum of the numbers is and we're going to just add the sum all right so the code looks clean let us try and run it so we're missing a small semicolon here so let's go ahead and fix that and run this again Okay, as you can see, it is printed that the sum of the numbers is 250, which is 100 plus 150. So our Java environment is pretty much set on Visual Studio Code. And we have also looked at an example of sum of two numbers to see if our code works well in Visual Studio Code. And it is working absolutely fine. So this is all about Java and Visual Studio Code. I hope you found this tutorial pretty easy to understand and to implement. So that is pretty much all we had for Java with Visual Studio Code. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers a full stack developer course which enable you to learn text tech from both front end and back end. Through this course, you will gain hands on experience with the skills and technologies such as SQL, Java, data structure, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Node.js and React under the guidance of industrial professionals. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonial on our Achievers channel, whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your careers to new height. So visit the course page link given in the description and take the first step towards a career growth with the full stack developer course.